and welcome to week two of Virtual Passport to Manhood. Uh, I'm Mr. Alex, the program, co program coordinator at the Seedman Center, and I'm here this week with Coach O, the club director at Paul I. How you doing, Coach? I'm doing pretty good, Alex. How about yourself? I'm doing all right, you know, trying to stay busy as best as I can, trying to stay in touch with our members. Exactly. Same here. It's the new norm, you know. I always tell young people, we, we have a way to dialogue with each other, and it's called the internet. And despite mm -hmm. all the all the challenges that face the global globalized world, it's still the internet is our saving grace. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you were you were telling me earlier that you wanted to focus on self esteem this week. You know, it's something that's really important for our members, there for our yeah. team members especially, developing self esteem and confidence. And and I know maybe that can be difficult right now, and we're all kind of like shut in, inside our homes and. And so I was wondering if you could speak a little bit about that. Yes, that's a good question. My, my biggest thing is to connect with your spirit, who you yeah. are as a person. Um, what are you putting in front of yourself to uplift you on a daily basis? Because it, for everybody right now, it, it's, it's, it's a very adverse, a lot of adversity going on right now from day to day. So you have to connect with your spirit. What, do you, what, 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 what uplifts you on days like today? And how do you continually feed into your self-esteem to uplift yourself and know that it's got to be a positive? Is your mm -hmm. glass half full? Is your glass half empty? I refuse mm -hmm. to live the half empty philosophy. It's got to be. It's got to be half full because the most important thing today is we all woke up. Yeah. Period. That's paramount to me. For sure. Yeah. You know, my thing. What worries me sometimes is like for me I can, personally. It, you know, I um, there are these things, these behaviors that I do uh, part of my routine that help me stay confident, you know, that help me uh, keep positive self-esteem, like going to the gym, staying fit, uh, exactly. going to work, being active. But these are all things right now that are not options for our members. Exactly. You know, we can't go to the gym and, and we can't go to school. Um, and so like so at home. What are mm -hmm. some things that our members can do, in your opinion, to um, to to stay confident in, in themselves and, and, and as uh, as positive as possible? Oh, well, that's a good question. First, for me, it would be to create a, a schedule, uh -huh. a routine schedule where you're still getting up at a certain time of the day. You don't want to sleep to 12 o'clock because you watch TV all night long. That gives you a, a false imp imp impression that you're that you live in this wait, wait and see moment. No, uh -huh. you gotta have you gotta have a routine where you come in, you wake up at a certain time still, you get up, you have breakfast, you nourish your body, you yeah. need exercises, you know, stretch, stretch your muscles, push-ups, sit-ups, some get your body going. And after that point in time, now what are you pouring into your gift? I always say that brain. Yeah. How are you how are you feeling that brain? You know, the challenge is, yeah, you can go play video games all day long, but how are video games enhancing your your brain. I, I mm -hmm. would challenge young people to, to pick up a book. When I say read, because you and I both know reading is will unlock any door that you want to walk through later in life. Yeah. And read some read something that you that uh, attracts to you, whether it be sports, music. I don't like putting young people in the same box. Because some kids don't even like playing video games. Some young people don't even like sports. So what is your niche? What separates mm -hmm. you? What what what's what makes you unique about you? different from everybody else. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that schedule is so important. You set a schedule and you adhere to it and follow it on a daily basis because no matter what's going on, going around outside the world, what does that have to do with you and your development as a person, as a young person, as a young man? Mm -hmm. Oops. Sorry about that, coach. That's okay. Um, yeah, you know, I, I agree with you. I think setting a schedule... Mm -hmm. I think setting a schedule is huge, um, especially mm -hmm. for young people. And for me, as a, a guy, as an adult, you know, setting a schedule and making sure that I adhere to that, it's kind of like it helps me hold myself accountable, yeah. you know. And that's so important for, for a young man's development and, and for, for teenagers growing into manhood exactly. um, to build yeah. those routines, you know. Exactly. So important. So important. So I would strongly suggest that you have a schedule that you stay stick to. And you do it every day. Now, Saturday, Saturday, the weekends, it might do something different. Yeah. But 
be careful what, what, what you're putting into your mind, your mindset. And are you really looking at yourself in the mirror and say, hey, I still want to be the best me I can become? Mm-hmm. You understand me? And what do I have to do? Because as the future moves forward, where do I want to be at in five years? Those, yep. that, time, that time never stops. So how about even saying we call those short-term goals? We call them the SMART goals in Passport to Men. What's a SMART goal, Coach? Something yep. specific that you want to accomplish. How do you measure it? By doing it every day. Uh, how do you achieve it? By being consistent. How do you mm-hmm. reach it? By doing it every day. And most importantly, you and I both know this, when setting goals, I want to have a start date and an ending date. Mm-hmm. So that you know you accomplished something. When you accomplish something, is number two in my mindset of self-esteem, self-worth. Yeah, you feel pretty good about yourself that you accomplished something. You gotta be able to hold on to what you control. No, yeah. we don't know what this world gonna be at two, a month from now, two months from now. Nobody can predict the future, but this is a day-by-day journey that we call the present. And what are you setting up? We want three type of goals. Short-term goals, long-term goals, and the right now goal. Yeah, right now goals. You you woke up. Hundred percent. Yeah. You know, I also I think that uh, it's important to remember, and I believe this to mm-hmm. you know to my core that uh-huh. when when the going gets tough, the tough get going, right? Yeah. And 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 this isn't easy for anybody. No. And no. um, it's but it is an opportunity to rise to the challenge for all of our members. Um, for all of our, for all of our, the young men that go to the boys and girls clubs of Grand Rapids every day, it's an opportunity to rise to the challenge. And, and as you're saying, set goals for yourself during this period and make sure that you're measuring them and and doing your best to stick to them, to stick to that routine that you're trying to establish for yourself. Yeah. I'll go one further, Alex. What I tell young people, uh, make a vision board, put your goals right there in front of you. So you wake up in the morning, it hits you right in the face. Now mm-hmm. you're accountable to yourself. That unique person that you are, you have to have something to look forward to. You know, I always mm-hmm. say, you know, self, whatever I talk about self esteem, I talk about those components that I use self discipline. You know what you have to do and you have to mm-hmm. do it. You, know, you don't have to do anything, but it's part of your goal. What's next? Be self control. You understand I me? Mean, I'm doing it the same way. I'm being consistent. What's the next piece? Once you accomplish it, self worth, how are you feeding your self esteem? That makes sense. Next piece is self-respect. No, I'm not going to hang out with the neighborhood people who are doing negative things. Mm-hmm. I got enough self-esteem to say, no, that's not for me. And if you have, if, and if I have to change who I am to fit in, do not be fake to yourself. Yeah. Last but not least, what builds self-confidence? Repetition. Do some over and over and over to you. know you're good at it because you put your time in. There are no shortcuts. Some of you say, I, I like when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Mm-hmm. When your back's against the wall, are you going to come out swinging? Or are you just going to say, no, the world owes me something, the world owes you anything? Does that mm-hmm. make sense? So that's what I love about Passport to Men. We are, we're sharing our journey with our with the young people that the creators entrust us to. You understand me? Yeah. So, you no, know, we're never going to tell you what you want to hear. We're going to tell you what you need to know. Yeah. Because this is the real world. You know, I always tell my basketball team before a tough game. I have this one thing I put on the board. I said, grown man business. No, it's not. We don't think you're grown yet. But what that says, that subliminal message is that, hey, oh, I'm, did I lose you? Sorry about that. No, I'm here. No, I'm still I, here. I, you're gone. Hold on. Let me come back because I missed your face. I, I got a message and I hit it and it took over my phone. No worries. Okay, yeah. I think I'm back. Okay, guys. You know, this is modern technology. I'm still navigating myself with it. <laughs> you, guys, young bucks, you guys know all the ins and outs, and I have to read the read the book. But hey, no, hey. no, I think it's so important that that piece right now. I was, it's corny, I'm going to tell you, but I honestly make the kids. I say, hug yourself. They look at me, huh? That's goofy, coach. No, what you going to like? Everybody not gonna like you. Mm-hmm. You gotta know who you are. You understand? Me? That resonates from the boys and girls club to East Grand Rapids High School. The message is still the same because the young people that want the information from their coaches, their teachers, the youth development specialists, and it's our responsibility to tell them what? The truth. Yeah. So, you know, I I, I think that before we, we let everyone go, I just want to say uh-huh. thanks to everyone for, for joining us here. Week two of pass, virtual passport to manhood topics, self-esteem. Each week we're going to be choosing a different topic to talk about um, and sharing our thoughts and feelings on that as it relates 
to um to to our members to our the young men that go to the boys and girls club of grand rapids every day and if you yeah if you guys have any questions or comments please share them uh on the page um and, or share them with us on facebook uh and and yeah thank you so much for joining us today anything you'd like to share with the group coach before we let them go yes is certain, certain things you have to remember about life right now in this globalized world which we live in there are three time periods in your life that you gotta understand young people I call it the past, the yesterdays of life. What you learn from yesterday? The future. You gonna plan on going to college, returning back to the clubs. So what time period does that leave? The present, the gift of the day. Don't take that for granted. And please keep your social distancing. You know, Maybe mindful of social distancing, distancing, and uh, hold on to yourself. Thanks, all right. Sir. Thanks for sharing, Coach. I'll see yeah, you next you. week. All right. Yes, sir. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.